Hi, this is Jordan Bennett with Jordan Bennett and Associates at Keller Williams Realty. And today I want to talk about, uh, or really answer the question, how can I buy a home if I have a home to sell? Okay, a lot of people find themselves in this situation. There are a few people that qualify uh, for a new home purchase while keeping their current mortgage and essentially being able to qualify for both of those payments at the same time. So what does that mean? Most people are going to need to sell their current home both for purposes of qualifying for the loan and for getting their equity and their down payment out of that first home to buy the second home. Now here's the challenge. It's a little bit of a catch-22 because in what is and has been a seller's market in Orange County, it's very difficult to get a contingent offer accepted by a seller. So what that means is unless your home is sold, you are unable to buy. But then if you look at it from the other perspective, most people don't want to sell unless they've already identified a home because they don't want to be homeless. So what is the solution? Well, about eight times out of ten, what people do is they sell their current home, you negotiate what's called a rent back with your buyer, and you say, hey, I'm going to sell you my home, and we're going to close in, let's say, 30 days. But then, even though the home is yours, the money's in the bank, it's no longer my home as a seller, I want to rent that home back from you for one month, two months, three months, which is a negotiation with the buyer, and you essentially are staying in your home, it just happens to not belong to you anymore. And then during that time, that gives you the freedom to pursue another home, non-contingent, essentially you don't have a home to sell because your home is sold, but you don't have to make two moves. You don't have to put all your stuff into storage and figure out where you're going to go next. You've got that two, three months to figure out um, your next purchase. So that's what a lot of people do. We found that to be really successful to make that transition pretty seamless uh, and a whole lot less stress uh, than moving twice. So hopefully that gives you something to think about. Thank you for watching.